All right. For masking, basically, I have a couple of heavy duty magnets, a couple of pieces of construction paper, and uh, what I do is I just basically just magnet here, <laughs> magnet there, add a magnet down there, and uh, yeah, we got a little bit down here I need to cover up, so grab another piece of construction paper. Just mask it off. You just don't want any overspray because it's real hard to uh, deal with overspray on various components. Okay, now what I'm going to do here is let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna break that up a little bit. Uh, I don't know what do we got here. Maybe something like that to break it up. I don't know. This is always the hardest part, trying to figure out what you want to do. You'll spend more time trying to figure out where you want to put a pattern than you will be actually uh, painting, because <laughs> the painting process is pretty pretty straightforward, obviously. Um, there we go. That looks good enough, just to break it up a little bit. Put this out here. I don't know. Let's try flipping it around. So that's the thing um, about using some of these guys here. They'll uh, they'll develop a lot of overspray on them, a lot of paint, and they'll they won't stick as well. That's why I think the thicker ones have a little bit more magnetic hold. So I think the thicker magnetic sheeting that you would buy. Oh, and if you're looking for magnetic sheeting. Uh, I think McMaster Car is probably going to have the best selection as far as that goes. Um, that's where I got mine at. It was pretty inexpensive. Uh, but, yeah, basically you just want something that, uh, you know, gets good adhesion, gets good stick, because all these little edges here you want. Basically, the flatter they lay, the sharper the pattern. All right, that looks good enough for me. So, we'll grab some paint.